Hello out there, ladies and gents, boys and girls, if I got a deal for you. Um, this is Tom Styles, and this is Tom Styles Radio Room Show. Okay, this is my broomstick antenna that I bought off of eBay, and I, I didn't really think it would work. It's not, number one, it's supposed to be for HF, the HF band. And number one, it's not very long, it's about three feet. And I've done uh, several shows trying to test it. And then I recently did a show of asking my viewers, how should I approach getting into this to find out why it's not working? And I've gotten a lot, a lot of responses. And so I think I'm going to try to attack this kind of in a methodical way in that I will try things that will do the least damage and go from there and maybe eventually take the whole thing apart well rip the whole thing apart and let me uh, zoom in a little bit here find my little zoom button here here we go and I'll move a little oh my gosh look at that face oh it's a face that should not be on camera so here's the business end of this antenna with the F connector and my testing has, has showed it basically is not even there it's like there's no connection to anything inside that's my guess and um, unfortunately I was not able to test it using my antenna analyzer because my antenna analyzer has been dead for a couple years so can't use that so here are some of the approaches that I've been given in my comments. One is to uh, cut open this top some way and look down inside here and see if there's no connection to what should be a long coil inside this thing. And there's several approaches to doing that. And then another one, which I think I'm going to try first, it may not work, but it's probably the least destructive. Is I've got a couple of comments that said, number one, maybe this is not glued very well, so I can just pop it off with a wrench without breaking it. I'll try that a little bit, gotta be careful there. And number two, that I may be able to uh, melt the glue or the bond between the cap and the the pipe and slide this off uh, using a heat gun to warm it up. I'll try that next and then if I'm not successful there I will start by cutting the top off of this cap right here just the top part and see if I can look down inside and see the back of this connector and see if it's attached to anything or if it's broken or if there's nothing inside. That's a possibility. Um, what I will do is I will start at this opposite end with trying the twisting off and the heat gun and because uh, if I you know if I damage this end uh, it's easily fixed or maybe I don't even have to fix it and then if if either one of those um, trials with getting the, a cap off work then I'll try it on the business end Okay, then if that fails, I can't get the cap off just by heating or twisting or whatever, then I'll get the old Dremel tool out. I don't have one of those uh, PVC pipe cutters. I don't have one of those, so I can't use this. So I'll get a Dremel tool out and I'll cut around this edge right here, try to pull this cap off. If that doesn't work, in other words, I still can't see inside, then I will start cutting this cap make slices in it and see if I can peel off the pieces. Again, trying to look inside, but still keeping this side and the connector intact. And then uh, if I still don't get anywhere there, then I'll try cutting the pipe itself so that this whole thing comes loose. I don't know, I don't have any idea how much play I've got in the wire here that I can pull this top part off. I don't know. Find out. 
and uh, it will go from there. So that's kind of what the approach is. I've been waiting for uh, some good weather because I want to do this outside. It's too dangerous to do it in my little workshop, especially with the heat. Uh, and then if I use my Dremel tool, it'll spill uh, shavings all over the place. I'm going to try to do it outside. But the problem be has been that the, um, the weather conditions have not been ideal. And would you believe it or not, the last two days, it's been too hot outside. Yeah, it's been in the 80s with bright sunshine. So working outside in the direct sunshine, I'm just not used to it now that it has cooled down and my body doesn't acclimate to the weather very quickly, being it's 99 years old. So we're going to try those approaches, and I hope to do that uh, next couple hours when uh, it warms up, it's still, uh, well, not warm up, it's warm enough, but there's not much sunlight out. It's still early in the morning, so there's not much sunlight outside right now. So that's the approach. I, don't, I hate, I'm sorry I've delayed this quite a bit, and we're going to get to it. As one person said, get to it, just get to it. We're going to do that. So that's the show. Hopefully uh, I'll have another show that I released today where we have actually made some progress. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Wrong button. Wrong button. Words button.